Today, we're going to embark on a journey to transform your OnePlus 6 or 6T into a Sailfish OS powerhouse. Before we get started, let's clarify a few important points. This guide is specifically for those using older ROMs. If you're already on Lineage EOS 16, attempting to install Sailfish over it might lead to boot loop issues. To avoid any complications, we'll be flashing Oxygenos 9 on both slots of your device. Sailfish will be completely isolated from your Android data on Slot B. This means you can make any changes or modifications to Slot B without affecting Sailfish at all. If you plan to install future updates ODAs on Slot B, you'll need to boot TWRP from Slot A. This is due to the nature of OTAs and how they work. It's crucial not to install TWRP on Slot A. Doing so will prevent Sailfish from booting afterwards. The best part is, you can still run Android versions like 14, 10, 9, or even Oreo on Slot B alongside Sailfish. What is Sailfish OS? Sailfish OS is a mobile operating system based on the Mare project, which was originally developed by Hoya. It's known for its unique user interface, which is designed to be intuitive and easy to use. Sailfish OS is also known for its focus on privacy and security, and it offers a number of features that are designed to protect your personal data. Your OnePlus 6 or 6T must be running Oxygenos 9.x on slot A. A quick search online with Oxygenos 9 OnePlus 6T should lead you to the necessary resources. We'll need TWRP recovery. Head over to the download links in the video description and Chalada, Fajita for your specific device. We'll also be using Lineage EOS 16 and the Sailfish OS installation zip, which will all be linked below. For me, whenever I try to flash Sailfish over Lineage OS, it goes to the boot loop. Download the appropriate TWRP image for your device enchilada for OnePlus 6, Fajita for OnePlus 6T from the provided link. Power off your phone completely, then hold down the volume down and power button simultaneously to boot into fast boot mode. You'll see a screen with a fast boot logo on a black background. Remember, updates are always flashed to the inactive slot. Since we're flashing TWRP and Oxygen OS first, we need to set slot B as the active one. Use the following command in your fast boot window. Remember to flash Oxygen OS on both the slots. If you are going to dual boot, then you will need to flash it in both slots. Now, boot the downloaded TWRP image using this command. If you're running Android 10, you might need a custom TWRP build. You can usually find those on XDA forums. We'll be doing a dirty flash here, which means it will overwrite your current data on slot A. Make sure you have the exact Oxygen OS version 9 downloaded. In TWRP, navigate to install and select the downloaded Oxygen OS zip file. Swipe to confirm the flash. Reboot your phone while holding the volume up button to enter fast boot mode again. Once there, check the current active slot using the fast boot get underscore active. Or you can again boot to TWRP and check the boot slot from the reboot section. If it displays slot B, you're good to go. If it says slot A, you'll need to repeat installion steps and flash oxygen OS 9 again. Now for the exciting part, copy the Sailfish OS installation zip downloaded from the link below to your phone storage. Go back to TWRP, navigate to install, select the Sailfish zip, and swipe to confirm the flash. Reboot and enjoy. Once the flash is complete, choose Reboot System from TWRP. This will reboot your phone and boot into Sailfish OS for the first time. If you encounter any issues during the installation process, feel free to refer to the Sailfish OS community forums for troubleshooting assistance. Sailfish OS offers a unique user interface with its own app store and UI. You can explore the Sailfish store to discover new apps and customize your phone's look and feel. Don't hesitate to experiment and play around with Sailfish OS. You might find some hidden gems or features that you'll love. 
If you have any questions or encounter any issues, feel free to leave a comment below or reach out to the Sailfish OS community for assistance. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more exciting tech tutorials. Until next time, happy sail fishing!